In this video, we will go over how to use Bartender with custom label sizes. If your label is a common size, please watch our simple label video instead. With Bartender open, make sure blank template is selected and click next. Select the printer you are using and click next. Make sure specify custom settings is checked and click next. If your label look like these, then they are single item and you will need to select single item per page. If your labels look like this, or this, then you will need to select multiple column and or rows of items per page. Then change the information to match your labels. Select your option and click next. Take a look at the labels you're using and see if there is any unused material. On this label, there is a bit here. If you're unable to measure the area, the default number is fine and you can always change it later. Next, select the shape of your label. On this page, enter the width and height of your labels and the preview of it will display on the right here. If you enter a number that the printer cannot handle, the preview will let you know that it will not work. Select the orientation of how the labels will come out and any effects you may want on your label when you hit finish. To create a barcode, click on the barcode icon in the toolbar to display some common barcode fonts. Each barcode fonts have different uses, so please see the description to learn more about barcode types. Select a barcode font and click somewhere on the label. Double click the barcode and the, the properties will open. To change the barcode data, click the number displayed underneath data sources to change it. Some other things you can change are the symbology and size, the human readable, which is this text here, the font of the human readable, border options, and position. You can also just click and hold the barcode to drag it into position, or click and hold onto this green circle to change the barcode size. Some other things you can add is stray text. Editing the text is similar to editing a barcode. Double click it and change its properties. Some other tools you can utilize is the line drawing tool, the shape tool, or the picture tool to add a picture. When you're done, save your file and print the label. If you have any problems with setting up, please contact us and we'll do our best to help you out.